Hi everybody, I'm Brutazilla, and today my review is going to be on my one of my newest X Plus figures uh, as of right now. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's a frog. No, it is my 30 centimeter Rodan uh, diamond reissue. And if you notice right now, I cut the box. I'm going to be cutting, I'm in the process of cutting all my boxes right now, but I'm keeping the art as uh, Rich Eso and, the, and so a lot of the other uh, collectors in the X Plus collectors group, uh, pretty much these guys, these boxes take so much dang room, so, and you know, I'm just going to start cutting them up, but saving the front art, so yeah, uh, pretty colorful artwork, I love the artwork on this thing. Uh, I got this at my local comic st uh, store. I would have gotten it from Flossie's Gifts and More, but at the time, I wasn't going to pre-order this guy. Uh, that was my original plan, but thanks to my brother from another mother, uh, Leslie Chambers, damn it, I had to get him. He convinced me to get this guy, and he was right. I, was, I would have uh, highly regretted if I didn't get this guy, so... I got this guy because of him. It's your fault, Leslie. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. The review for this big, bad, beautiful bird. It is beautiful. Um, what can I say? It's, it's basically uh, Rodan from his 1964-ish uh, movie, Gidra Three-Headed Monster. Now, when I say ish, what I mean is... The sculpt, in my opinion, doesn't really look kind of like the 64 suit. It kind of resembles more the the Monster Zero suit uh, in the 60 in 65. Uh, that's what it looks like to me. He looks more. He looks resembles more the 65 uh, the suit or the, the design. You know, suit design, whatever. But yeah. Uh, it's beautiful, beautiful figure. Very, very big. I, I knew it was going to be a big figure, but I think the wingspan is what makes him really huge. And then the box was big as well. And, yeah. Um, beautiful, beautiful sculpt. Uh, I got the 25-centimeter the uh, 64 Rodan to compare him with, which I'll do later on when I do my size comparisons. But right now... We're going to do up close and personal. Alrighty then. This is the Rodan. 1964, 30 centimeter ish. Like I said before, he looks more like the 65 uh, suit to me from Monster Zero. Resembles it more. But hey, you know, that's a, that's a pretty much a good reason to get it, you know, because it's more Monster Zero ish. Um, but yeah, he's got white eyes, white and with black, white eyes with black pupils. Look with that cool little shine to him, and I just love the way he looks. He looks that Showa kind of looks, kind of looks a little derpyish compared to the 25 centimeter version. But that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing because this is how he, you know, to me looked like he did in the Monster Zero. And uh, you got the he's ba basically painted brown all over his body, with basically uh, to you know norm medium tannish or br light brown to tan colors. You know you could see that blending in there with the beak going to from a like a light brown to a, a tan color or a bone color. And he's got a closed mouth, and that's a little that's another difference when you compare him to the. 25 centimeter version, which I'll do here in a bit. You got the in the same light light colors for the two horns on his uh, face there, and on the back of his head there. And going down, you get the cool spikes there on his big long neck here. And then you get the cool spikes here on his chest, which are really really cool. And they all they kind of like go all over, like like this one here. And I notice. Like most of them are going straight down, where a couple here go outwards and inwards. That could be like maybe the the vinyl, you know, maybe the way it was shipped here. But as hey, long as none's broken, I don't care, you know. But 
they look really really awesome to look at and going over here to the one of the wings you got the cool you got the claws here coming out with that dark to brown to uh, tan or bone bone bonish color on these big giant wings here and then the wing membranes I guess you would yeah I think I believe they're wing membranes um beautifully painted all the beautiful detail wrinkles where they should be you know based on the old suits with a bunch of colors here light brown and then tan colors almost white almost the bone color in there too beautiful beautiful just the way it looks same thing on this side absolutely gorgeous oh I just noticed this right now I didn't notice this before uh, I got a little scratch right there eh. Nah, that's funny. I just noticed that right now during my review. Oh, that's not a scratch. Eh. Um, anyway, yeah, I thought that was a scratch. But, uh... Okay, so... And then, going down to the feet here, we got basically all dark brown, and then same thing for, like, the, the claws and the... Spikes they go from like a little bit of a blend of the dark light brown and then go into the bone bonish tannish color On there and then when you turn this bad boy around It's pretty much Dark brown all over here, and then you got the oops Okay, I don't want almost tipped them over <laughs> and you got the big old giant uh, back part right here that's protruding out I believe that's that's, that's most likely the zipper where the suit actor would get would get in and then you got uh, the back of the wings here they're painted almost similar on the front uh, with the same light brown tannish bone color whatever same thing here all the beautiful details and stuff that make this figure really really well detailed this is why I love X plus all the details they put into these things and then down here you got the little tail here with the little uh, I don't know what you call that little arc shaped things here with the just, just, it's a tail huh. pretty much a tail really cool though and then you got the little spikes here coming on the back of the heel here both heels and on the bottom of course you got your legal mumbo jumbo and then here to show you that it's an official X plus figure so yeah what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna do size comparisons but um, what did I put them oh but I'm gonna do it this is gonna be kinda hard um, I'm gonna do it with this Rodan now what I mean by unless he can stand cuz this Rodan will not stand on his own this Rodan suffers from the wing droopage. I've tried, I blow dried his wings and I've used uh, bottle caps, uh, pep, you know, like pop bottle caps or whatever, or water bottle caps to put underneath his wing tips here, but that would, it, it did not work. So I just used like my X Plus figures. I think I used the 25 centimeter Angerus and Godzilla 68 to prop him up. So he's pretty standing good on his own, only because I'm using Rodan's leg there, but. Anyway, this is just a size comparison anyway, so, um, basically you notice right off the bat is this guy here is like, I don't know, just got that derpy-ish face to him, which is, like I said, is not a bad thing, and then this Rodan here, in, a, in my opinion, you know, uh, he's got, he seems like he's got a little bit more personality, I mean, you know, because he looks like he's like, I don't know, just less derpier than the 30 centimeter. And the mouth is open here, obviously. And that's, that's basically the main difference you notice right off the bat, besides obviously the size, is basically the, you know, the facial features, the mouth opening. But overall, they're pretty much the exact same thing, you know, throughout the, throughout, uh, the whole sculpt besides the face. The whole sculpt is basically the same, except the face, but then the spikes here on the neck, you know, since it's a smaller figure, they, they're not 
they don't protrude out as much as this one does. These ones protrude out a little bit more because, it's, you know, it's obviously a bigger figure. But, yeah, um, I love both Rodans. You know, don't get me wrong when I say this one, you know, f face is a little different. You know, different, and this one's got more personality. I love both Rodans. They're both amazing figures. Um, if if I really, I mean, it, it's really hard to pick between these guys. I mean, here you got Rodan with you know with his mouth open and the face, and the, like I said, the face looking on this one more like the '64 from Gija Three Headed Monster, and then this Rodan looking more like uh, the '65 from Monster Zero. So. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's that's a good thing to have. So it's like you got two different Rodans from two different movies. So yeah, that's my size comparison here with 30 centimeter Rodan and the 25 centimeter Rodan, both 64 versions. All right, I thought I would do uh, King Ghidra as my other size comparison because obviously Rodan has a you know is basically in the movies with King Ghidra, Ghidra Three Headed Monster, and Monster Zero. So I figured, you know, how do these guys size up? Well, Rodan is really, really huge compared to this King Ghidra. And, you know, I guess not really size accurate because King Ghidra was obviously a lot bigger than Rodan here. But it could be size accurate because if we had gotten Rodan in Godzilla vs. Gigan, like uh, it was originally intended... Um, but they didn't use it because the Rodan suit, I guess, I, I believe, uh, was no was badly damaged or something. Um, or something like that, I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, this could be size accurate if you compare that. Because King Ghidra, by that time, I don't know if it was a different suit or if the suit had just, you know, gone through the test of time. But... It was a lot. Sm he looked a lot smaller than he did in Ghidra Three-Headed Monster and Monster Zero, and I would say Destroy All Monsters. I'm not sure about that one. It's been a while since I've seen that movie, but anyway, this could work. Okay, next size comparison, I will do the 1964 30 centimeter Godzilla. So this is for basically, uh, you know. The closest way you can get to uh, Ghidra the Three-Headed Monster in 30 centimeter scale. <gasps> Even though this technically isn't the same Godzilla from uh, Ghidra. Well, it is, but the face is a little different. Because they obviously changed the face. Um, but, yeah, this is pretty much the closest you're going to get. And with his tail touching the thing here, uh, it's going to be kind of hard. But, in a way... It's not really size accurate because Rodan was a lot taller than Godzilla here. Um, even looks like he's leaning a little tiny bit as well. Um, Rodan should be, should be a little bit taller, maybe up to here, maybe. Um, but they still look great together, regardless. You know, I mean, if it's gonna, I mean, if it, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily be perfect. I mean, a lot of these X plus figures we get 30 centimeters. They're not actually 30 centimeters. You know, they're a lot smaller. Like my 84 Godzilla, he's a lot smaller than you know your typical 30 centimeter. But yeah, they still look great to oops, they still look great together. And that's for uh, Ugidra three-headed monster fans out there, but for you destroy all monster fans, here is the Godzilla uh, 1968. And when comparing these two, they saw he looks somewhat a little more size accurate. I mean, I think Rodan might have been a little bit taller than Godzilla. I mean, like this particular suit. Um, but he looks... He looks a little, he looks right there. He should be maybe a little yay high, but they still look great together. If you're trying to get all the uh, the damn monsters in a 30 centimeter scale. But, yeah, that's pretty much my size comparisons. And that's going to wrap up my review here um, on this beautiful, beautiful uh, giant pterodactyl here. Everybody's favorite pterodactyl. I love Rodan. I'm a big Rodan fan myself. Um, one of these days I hope to get the uh, 1956 Rodan 
a 25 centimeter scale or preferably if they release a 30 centimeter scale a new sculpt that'd be even better but for now we this the only Rodan's you know that many of us can get the 68 the 64 ver 30 centimeter here so if you haven't picked this guy up now please do so you will regret it if you don't I would have regretted it but we all know whose fault that was that I didn't <laughs> but uh, yeah that's pretty much my review guys um, please check out the uh, Facebook on the X plus uh, kaiju collectors group if you haven't done so join it now great group to stay on you know up to date with a bunch of X plus releases uh, especially Japanese releases and when it comes to the diamond reissues which is what this guy is check out kaijuaddicts.com uh, you're one of your best probably the best place for everything X plus related uh, got reviews got uh, basically up to date on the diamond reissues and the bluefin reissues we can't forget them Bile anti King Ghidra so far and the Japanese releases as well plus uh, the owner John Sanasi takes remarkable uh, photos of his figures for his reviews as well so check those out and also if you want to purchase these guys pre-order them check out Flossie's gifts and more which is what I've been doing but like I said I didn't get this guy from Flossie's only because I wasn't I, I wasn't you know intending on getting them so I pre-ordered with my comic store at the last minute because I thought you know I wouldn't be able to make the pre-order but yeah um, Flossie's Gifts and More, recommend that store. Awesome store, and I think that's going to be pretty much it for my uh, review here. Um, I don't know when they're coming or not, but I believe my next X Plus upcoming figures that, yeah, that I know of are going to be uh, the 30 centimeter uh, Diamond Reissue Space Godzilla and the 30 centimeter, no, 30, blah, blah, <laughs> the 25 centimeter. Well, ish, you know, in the 25 summary scale, Bluefin release of Biolanti. That is definitely one of my holiest grails. Uh, figure I'd never thought I'd get, and you know, I got a lot of holy grails, but he's definitely another. She's definitely another one up there. But yeah, I don't know when they're coming, but I also notice this guy kind of stands pretty good, except like I don't know. He's probably gonna have that lean problem. I hope not. Unless it's because I'm messing with them, I keep bumping them, but who knows. And as always, please comment, like, and subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, everybody, go, go, Godzilla! Whoa, that was close.